Okay. Atomic number, mass number, and isotopes. So Dalton said that atoms of different elements are different from each other. And what, make, what makes them different is the number of protons in their nucleus. So we just learned about the nucleus. There's protons and neutrons in there. The number of protons in the nucleus is what identifies an atom as belonging to a particular element. All atoms of an element have the same number of protons. So the number of protons is given a name. It's called the atomic number. You know, it would have been more descriptive if they called it the proton number or something like that. But they gave it the atomic number, and they gave it the, um, the symbol Z. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I would have called it A, but they called it Z, and they called the other one that doesn't start with A, A. Sorry, they didn't consult me. Things would have made more sense if they had. So the atomic number is given on the periodic table. Periodic tables vary in how much information they have, but every periodic table has element symbols and atomic numbers. Otherwise, it's not a periodic table. So here's a simple square from a simple periodic table. AU is the element symbol for gold. The number above it is 79. So this is the atomic number. So how many protons does a gold atom have? 79. We've got a nice periodic table up here on the wall. Look at neon, NE, on the far right side. The number above it is 10. How many protons in every neon nucleus? 10. So that's what those numbers on the periodic table mean. It tells us the number of protons in the nucleus for that element. The number of protons is like your personality or your soul, right? It's your identity, who you are. You can change how you look. You could dress up like Cookie Monster. Or you could um, you know, dye your hair bright green. Or you know, shave your head. Or you can do, have plastic surgery and, and change how you look. But does that change who you are? No. The number of protons doesn't change. That is the identifying characteristic of, of elements. Um, Atoms are electrically neutral. So do you remember what charge the proton had on it? Plus one. The neutrons are neutral. They don't have a charge. So if the whole atom is neutral, we must have an equal number of electrons to offset the charge. So if this gold atom has 79 protons, then we also know that the atom has 79 electrons, 79 positive charges, 79 negative charges adds up to an overall charge of zero. So here's the number that they gave the symbol A to. This is the mass number. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. So it's how many of those particles that have mass are there? That's the mass number. Collectively, we call protons and neutrons nucleons because they are residents of the nucleus. So the nucleons are the particles in the nucleus. So the mass number is the number of nucleons, the number of protons plus neutrons. Well, sometimes we use what are called nuclear symbols. Sometimes it's called atomic notation. Nuclear symbols to indicate the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So it goes this way. Here, SY, that's the symbol of the element. I think in your book it might use a, a capital X. And then to the left, there's a superscript and a subscript. The superscript A is the mass number, the total number of protons and neutrons. And the subscript Z is the atomic number, the number of protons. The number of protons is on the periodic table. And we can deduce the number of electrons because it's the same as the protons. Information about the neutrons is not on the periodic table. And there's a reason for that. OK, so let's look at this nuclear symbol and get the information out of it. So what is the element name for this? 
SI is the, the symbol for the element. What's the name? Silicon. So at this point, I haven't told you to, to memorize element names and symbols yet. I will be telling you to do that. At this point, you have to look that up. It's silicon. What's the atomic number? It's 14. So the atomic number is on the bottom. The mass number is on the top. So you can get the atomic number from this symbol. You could also get it from the periodic table. Look at the periodic table and you find SI and it's 14. So the atomic number is 14. What does the atomic number tell me? It does tell me electrons and protons. What we'll find is that the, the electrons, I think of the electrons as being more the clothing or the outer appearance of an atom. Atoms can gain or lose electrons. They form ions, and we'll get to that later in this chapter. The protons don't change, though. And so the atomic number is the number of protons. It is equal to the number of electrons for a neutral atom. But if you get an ion, then it, they're not the same. So 14, 14 protons. What's the mass number? 29. And that tells us that we have um, 29 nucleons. And the nucleons, that's the protons plus the neutrons. So how many neutrons are in this thing? Fifteen. I don't think they did this on purpose, but this is how I see it. They stack that up so I can subtract easily. The 29 is the protons plus neutrons, and the 14 is just the protons, and so if I subtract them, I get the number of, of neutrons. Any questions? So Dalton believed that all atoms of a given element were identical because that was before investigations led to us understanding that there are particles inside the atoms. Now we recognize there's particles inside the atoms. So now we know that the number of neutrons in atoms of the same element can vary. And so we call these isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element, but they have different mass numbers because they have different numbers of neutrons. They'll have the same number of protons, the same number of electrons, but the neutrons can vary a little bit. Many of the elements, not all of them, many of the elements have two or more isotopes. Here are the three isotopes of hydrogen, and they're actually, they actually have their own names. Um, so this nuclear symbol represents uh, protium, and you don't have to memorize these names. Protium. How many protons does this hydrogen atom have? It's the bottom number. One proton. How many neutrons does it have? None. None. So this has zero neutrons. That's the only atom that doesn't have any neutrons. This one's called deuterium. How many protons? One, because it's hydrogen. How many neutrons? One. one. This one has one neutron. And tritium, how many protons? One. one. How many neutrons? Two. Two. These are all atoms of hydrogen. What makes them atoms of hydrogen is the one proton but they're a little different. The deuterium is heavier than the protium. The tritium is heavier than both of them because it's got two neutrons in its nucleus. You heard of heavy water? They, they use heavy water um, in uh, nuclear power plants and in making nuclear bombs. Heavy water has deuterium instead of hydrogen. 
much the same properties as regular water, but it's heavier because it's got extra neutrons. So these are isotopes of hydrogen. There's different ways to refer to isotopes. We often do it by um, stating the name of the element followed by the mass number, because that's what tells us which one is different. So for hydrogen, you could have hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, hydrogen 3. So cobalt 60 is one isotope of cobalt. Let's write the nuclear symbol for that. Well, we need the element symbol for cobalt first. A good guess would be either C or CO, and in this case, um, CO would be correct. So cobalt, and then we need the, the atomic number, and we have to look at the periodic table to get that. You find cobalt, it's, it's kind of in the middle there, and what's the number in its box above it? 27. So 27 is the subscript number. What's the mass number? The mass number has to be given in the name somehow because there are different isotopes of cobalt and we can't tell from the periodic table what they are. So this is 60. If we wanted to know how many neutrons it has, we'd take 60 minus 27. How about uranium-238? What would be the nuclear symbol for that? What the symbol for uranium is? What might be a good guess? U. U. Uh, capital U. What does this 238 tell us? The mass number. So 238, that's the number that goes as the left superscript. And what's the atomic number for uranium? 92, and then we get that from the periodic table. Any questions? Okay, determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in each of the following species. So here's a nuclear symbol for an isotope of chlorine. If we were going to give it a name that was easier to say, we'd, we'd call it chlorine 35. Well, let's, uh, did not mean to do that. Um, let's do protons here, and neutrons over here, and electrons over here. Well, how many protons does this atom have? 17. This is the atomic number right here that tells us the number of protons. How many electrons does it have? 17. 17. A neutral atom has to have the same number of protons and electrons. How many neutrons? 18. Take 35 minus 17, you get 18. So this one has 18 neutrons. Any questions? How about this one? How many protons? 17. 17. It's still chlorine. It has to have 17 protons. How many electrons? Still 17. How many neutrons? 20. 20. We subtract this and we get 20. The difference between these two isotopes, they have the same number of protons, they have the same number of electrons. The only difference is that one has two more neutrons than the other. Sometimes we leave out the atomic number in this symbol. Because it's not absolutely necessary, we can find it on the periodic table. So K is potassium, and what is the atomic number? 19. So that tells us it has 19 protons and 19 electrons. How many neutrons? 39. That can make your brain hurt, can't it? 
22. It's okay to use your calculator. This isn't math class. 22 protons. It always makes me sad when I see students doing, doing subtraction and stuff and getting the answer wrong because they did it in their head or they wrote it out on paper and they did something wrong. Use your calculator. Okay, carbon-14. How many protons does a carbon-14 isotope have? Six. How do we know that? Periodic table. We find carbon is C and it's number six. It has six protons. That means it has six electrons. How many neutrons? Eight. Because 14 is the mass number. The total protons plus neutrons, we subtract six and we get eight. Any questions? Yeah, we caught up. <laughs>